In today's episode, I'm going to be talking about epigenetics. Uh, uh, oh, oh. Uh, yeah. So basically, with epigenetic, uh, uh. Epigenetics is the study of uh, gene regulation. Uh, yeah. So basically, what you have is like different genes that are activated in different cells. So your eyeballs are eyeballs, and your skin is skin. That's the basic gist of it. Now, to do this, the genes need to be regulated, which happens at uh, different levels, which can mean that uh, basically DNA itself could be uh, modified in order to see the change. Something else happens entirely. So for example, uh, DNA modification can happen in the form of acetylation or methylation, which basically uh, adds acetyl to histones, which changes the affinity of DNA, which causes it to uh, bond stronger with DNA and that basically means that the uh, system that normally can uh, transcribe DNA no longer can bind there which means genes are no longer uh, transcribed or you know expressed which means that basically that gene is off. Uh, methylation is basically the opposite, which means that uh, it binds worse to a histone, and that means that the uh, machines necessary for uh, transcription and thus translation can bind more easily, which allows it to you know, uh, express that gene more often, depending on whether or not the cell needs it. Uh, there's also a regulation on the level of uh, RNA, which uh, basically happens with uh, uh, alternative uh, RNA splicing, which uh, basically means that one part of the DNA is cut out, which uh, gets glued together to other pieces of uh, DNA or RNA that uh, are going to be translated and oh it's getting dark no uh, which basically means that uh, hang on uh, yeah, so uh, 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 hang on so uh, the RNA that gets transcribed gets spliced in different ways, which basically means that you get uh, RNA that works uh, differently when compared to uh, if it wasn't cut, basically. Uh, which means that, uh, you know, you basically have safety safe uh, which basically means that uh, 
you know, uh, that the same parts of DNA can perform multiple uh, jobs, basically. Uh, another form of gene regulation is uh, small interfering uh, RNA, which uh, basically gets uh, cut up, which uh, then can binds to a complementary uh, piece of RNA, which causes it to, uh, you know, don't get described, uh, uh, translated, excuse me. So because of it, it doesn't get translated, which basically means that, you know, the gene doesn't get expressed anymore. And it also marks uh, that RNA molecule to be destroyed because double strain, uh, yeah, double strains of uh, RNA are a sign of uh, uh, viruses, which basically means that it should get destroyed immediately. Uh, and that's the episode, so I'm guessing. Uh, didn't I have a bed? Oh no. Oh no. So basically, the DNA gets described at. I don't know what I was saying. I don't even want to cut, to be honest. Let me just, you know, struggle a bit. I'll figure something out. Uh... Now oh, what is? There we go. Safety first. So yeah. Um. So basically, uh, because of that, the eyeballs are eyeballs, while your liver functions as a liver. So yeah, all cells have the same DNA in our bodies, it's just that they are expressed in different ways. I don't know what I'm doing. In case it wasn't obvious. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I should get inside. But I don't want to. Okay, so anyways. Um, I thought I was gonna talk longer about that. Uh oh. Don't have anything else to really talk about involving uh, DNA expression. Could talk about operons, I suppose, which basically are a cluster of genes that are necessary to uh, form one specific pathway which basically is like a uh, uh, a pathway is basically like uh, how do you describe it like it's basically like a process in order to uh, you know uh, perform one task like break something down or build something up that's the basic gist of it. And for an operon, you basically need an uh, operator, which is uh, you can uh, like 
compare it to a bridge basically it's closed oh when you don't want uh, it to be uh, producing something the genes have to change the gene good enough the genes after that or you know uh, it's on the opposite way so like uh, two good examples are the uh, uh, trypto wait no hang on hang on Ah, they just call it amino acid, yeah. An amino acid operon, which basically creates uh, one of the essential amino acids uh, while uh, there aren't enough. Which, you know, pretty useful. But, and that one needs to be turned off when there's plenty of uh, amino acid around and that's done by basically feeling whether or not uh, that amino acid is present or not and uh, yeah when it is basically the bridge gets opened so uh, the genes ain't uh, expressed anymore. Uh, I'll, I'm a maker shuffle. I'll be right back. And the opposite of that is the lactose operon, uh, which, well, basically, uh, you know, when there's uh, not. Uh, any yeah, when there isn't lactose that's supposed to be turned off and when it's you know there you want to use that as a form of fuel uh, you know if you don't have enough uh, energy already so it basically measures the amount of uh, uh, EMP, uh, AMP, excuse me, uh, which is basically like an empty battery you can uh, compare it to. So if there's empty batteries and lactose, the uh, operon gets turned on and the genes that would uh, basically break down the lactose get activated yeah that's pretty much it oh. water 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 Forty. Why is that still? Why is that forty? Oh well. Oh whoops. Yeah, that's basically it. Uh, I need something else to talk about. Well, then again. I could probably cut right here. That will be fine. I think my neighbors are also home. This is awkward.
Yeah, I really don't have anything else to tell. There we go. Oh, frick. Oh, frick. Hello? Oh. Why do I even bother? Why do I bother? Anyways, that's probably enough of a video. Bye.